morning and hello to everyone so welcome back to the fifth day of our morning practice and we are one minute too early right now but today's session I want to introduce you a little bit to the idea of timing and to understand how important the timing is when you are doing all different types of practices but for right now Let's start and begin with our small warm-up. Hands in front of the chest. Actually. And bow. Lift the elbows. Exhale. Again. Place your attention on the breath. And one more time. Now here, sink on the right leg, left leg. Step out. Shoulder wide, in, fill up the chest. Five more times. Two more. One more. Okay. And small jumps together with shaking the hands. Let's go. Three minutes. Shake off the body, don't tense up, stay very loose, loose until the finger joints.
and stay with the mind inside yourself and try to observe yourself that you are able to detect also if there is anything that you can release now continue find a small rhythm for yourself yeah, you can make it very freely and just do whatever you want but there is also an advantage of having a pattern of having continuous repetition which always stays the same yeah, so find a rhythm Find a rhythm. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah. If you change the jumps, uh, two more minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One more minute. Go on. Uh, slowly rotate, for example, the shoulders already. Yeah, loosen up. Use circular movement. Yeah, but still continue moving okay 20 seconds Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, very good. Now, slowly, we started to activate the body. Now, starting from the fingers, we walk ourselves through our complete body and warm up every station that we're able to go with, with our mind. Starting with the fingers. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, small finger, reverse. Yeah, very conscious. One, two, three, four, five, and close. Yeah, 36 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Next joint, the wrist. Rotate inwards. Yeah. With your mind, really stay at the wrist. Yeah, place your awareness, feel inside of your body, go inside the wrist. 
and 36 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then other direction, eighteen times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next elbow joints uh, from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five Six other direction, eighteen times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now shoulders. Yeah. Before we loosen up the shoulders already a bit. Now rotate the backwards. Back. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eighteen times other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, shoulders finished. Move more to the center. Spine rotate left and right. Let's go uh, thirty six times and go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now spine bending to the front and leaning slightly to the back. Okay. When we go up and the fingers are pointing upwards, yeah, don't bend the finger, put them really straight. Uh, push them upwards, upwards, boom, up, up, yeah. boom, everything is up, everything is up. Eighteen times and inhale one 
and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and off now that was the spine we have all our joints uh, from our upper torso so now we're starting from our hip and moving outwards moving downwards so hip rotation now we can also integrate the way how you're breathing for example inhale Exhale, in, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Other direction, nine times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and center then hips now we go to the knees feet together you can use your arms to support you in the beginning yeah so that there's not too much pressure on the knees but then we start yeah legs straight then one up two Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight more, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then concentrate. Move the weight on your left leg. All the weight shifted on the left leg. So the right leg has no weight. Concentrate on your spine, that the spine stays straight. Because when your spine is like a sensor, so and this sensor needs to stay straight, elsewise you don't know, or it's very hard to find the balance. So keep the spine straight. And knee up, yeah? 18 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, then leg. Put it down. Put the weight on the leg. Other knee up. And 18 times. Go. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Good. Shake off. Very easy. Now, this exercise, because it's a new exercise, we uh, make two more rounds, each with 18 repetitions. So really concentrate on the leg that you're lifting up and at the same time remain and try to keep your balance. So try to not move too much. And very helpful, today's session it's about timing. Timing, structure, yeah, pattern. All of this gives you stability. Structure gives you stability. So let's go. Yeah, shift the weight on the left leg, right leg, up, and then go 18 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the leg, shift down, stay inside, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, shake legs. One more time, right leg again, and go a little bit more slow. This time, we use more conscious breathing. So, inhale. Two, out, three, out, four, out, inhale, go up, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, inhale, out, four, five, six, Seven and eight. And we repeat the same for the left leg. Shift the weight onto the right leg. Keep and maintain the balance. And left knee 18 times. Inhale. Out. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we have the hips, we have the knees, we did a little bit more for the legs today, and now last part, the ankles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eighteen other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch other leg 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Good. Uh, body should be warm right now. And now we are taking the exercises and the postures that we learned in the previous four days, which is horse stance. Let's do some exercises with the horse stance. Okay. Feet about uh, double one and a half shoulders wide. You will need to adjust for yourself a little bit. Yeah. When we practice here, we keep our feet as straight as possible. But sometimes it's still necessary to adjust a little bit. So somebody was writing me that you are feeling pain when you go into the horse stance while maintaining the feet straight. So in that case, now they are straight, now you go down and if you feel too much pressure and pain here, then the foot you can slide on to move. But important is that your knees are not collapsing to the inside. Don't collapse to the inside. Yeah. Push the knees outwards. Okay, so from here, going down, lifting the arms. Let's go 18 times, synchronized with our breath. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, eight, out, nine, out, ten, out, one, out, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Breathe, regulate yourself. Okay, uh, in between sometimes I am using three times, sometimes I call it small breathing, sometimes I call it regulate. 
what are you doing while you are regulating while you are making the small breathing well to put it simple when we make a lot of mabu practice for example and then you finish your exercises and you start to feel inside yourself there is a clear dominance of what your mind is like perceiving within of your body there is a clear dominance of strength of energy of whatsoever and it's located at the legs at the point where we were doing the training with so after making a lot of marbu stands there is a dominance within of your body which is at the legs so if we are regulating then you are using the mind you are using the breathing you are using everything that is available to you everything that you can access in order to bring back an awareness within your body which is the same everywhere again which does not have any dominance this is what you practice when you regulate and how long do you need to practice this or to learn it that depends on your determination and commitment you practice every day a lot and you do these things it's gonna come quicker you do it one time per week it probably won't come so soon okay now we continue Mabu again, but this time static practice. Inhale, open the chest, yeah, nourish yourself three times. Inhale. Two. One more time. Then in and go down Mabu. And from here stay and counting until thirty six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay. And nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And inhale. Stand up. lightness inside yourself again okay so very good now we continue with our practice and yesterday newly introduced what does walking mean it's the con uh, it's the connection it's the transition between two standing postures so on the one side now we practice the mabu very much this week at the same time we also had the gongbu and now we are practicing the transition 
so mabu to gongbu back to mabu gongbu other side back again yeah it's just two stances but we need to practice and find the proper way to align our body during the transition phase during the changing phase and now uh, place a little bit attention on try not to move the leg or the foot the foot does not make a step as long as you have some body weight resting on that foot so if you want to move one foot you need first of all to take the weight of that foot and this can happen by changing the balance within yourself yeah let's go together slowly and i guide you through this exercise so first uh, take this time take a wide mabu not too low so that you can still uh, stand if i want to move to a left gongbu at the moment my spine is centered uh, it's exactly in the middle between both legs yeah it's in the center if i want to move the left leg i move my weight onto the right leg yeah spine still stays straight so from here just shift weight is on the right leg now the left foot i turn yeah, that is facing outwards my weight is still here and now with the right ball of the foot yeah it's yeah, the point where you're standing on it's about here this area here somewhere around here this is where all the weight is distributed here yeah so we are in Mabu I shift the weight I turn the leg I push from the right foot up. okay so now I'm in Congo my hip is turned now I want to return back to Marble. So that means I shift the weight more on the left leg. The right foot turns to the front. I shift all the weight back and then I return. Same now. I know to go to a right gongbu. I shift the weight on the left leg. Right foot turn then left foot push straight and hip i want to go back again so weight on the right leg left foot turn to the front shift the weight foot turn back and same slowly one shift the weight turn the foot push the leg turn the leg shift the weight turn the foot yeah. one two one Seven, 
eight and nine. So, Mabu Gongbu, the stances in the beginning to practice them separately just to build up some strength that you can afterwards take those positions and work with them. But now already when, it was, when we are starting to try and connect the stances, so learning the transitions, it's a lot of work uh, in detail and it takes time. Because right now, I think it's almost, unless you have some experience already, it's almost impossible to make it correct. But a great part of all of these practices is learning by doing. You have the Mabu, you have the Gongbu, and now you always try to make the transitions. And if you want to know how those transitions are done, then you can always repeat and watch this video again, put it in slow motion and then observe for yourself. But anyway, the best thing is you watch, you take examples from other people that can do it and then you must do it as well. So, like promised yesterday, I'm going to share with you now uh, routine very simple routine because we are just adding one more new stance which is called the crouching stance or the pubu but before we do so we need to warm up the legs more okay from here feet about shoulder wide arms cross them yeah. down and here try and go low the legs are standing straight and we go 18 times yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, I didn't miscount, but 18 was simply not enough. So, again, this exercise, the legs, keep them straight. Uh, don't bend the legs and try to go down. Legs are straight and you go down 18, no, 36 times. Yeah, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Next exercise. Open pelvis, hip area, and everything around this ring. Try open up. Uh, and swing the legs. Swing the legs. Start slowly uh, 18 times. Yeah. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Okay. Hip uh, rotate. And other direction. So, okay, now we are starting to get into the new stance. Let me show you how we are uh, getting into it. Especially when in the beginning your flexibility is not good enough, if your hips are not open enough, if your ankles are not open enough, you will certainly have difficulties in this uh, exercise or in this posture. But that's why we practice it to day by day increase our flexibility. It doesn't need to look like I do it, it just needs to feel better for yourself yeah you must become better than you were yesterday it's about your body it's not about my body okay from here go around yeah, a little bit more then shoulder wide and just squat down yeah the feet to the front maybe slightly out Use the elbows, push the knees outwards. So if you look here, all the way down and push, push the knees out. Yeah, you want to open this area open this area open this area okay this is just the beginning let's stay here 18 now concentrate while i count you release one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight okay then from here now shift the weight on the right leg yeah? so I shift my weight on the right leg so left foot look uh, I can I can move it uh, I can move it so the weight is here now you can use your hands to support on the ground if you cannot hold it, but this leg here yes, oh, will bring it out straight. So right now you look how I'm standing. Yeah. The right foot is down, the left foot is on the heel and you try to keep the balance. Okay, let's stay in this position uh, nine times only. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. So, then from here. Now, in the beginning, I know it's hard, you need to learn to keep the balance and so, but we still you wanted me to show you, I show you. Now we shift the weight back to the other leg, here. I stand up like it would be marble. I shift the weight on the left leg, lift the heel up and start sink so right now you have the other leg and again 
from here. 18 of nine times. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five days training is not enough to, to, to advance more when the positions and the stances become more difficult. Yeah, right now this new stance, the Pubu, it is so hard because it's a very uncommon way of standing around. Yeah, I mean it depends because uh, in that case I think sometimes the Asians have it easier because uh, the way how we are eating sometimes is yeah we have no money to buy some chairs and buy some tables so ah yeah, yeah we just have our bowl to eat and then we just anyway sit around like this and everybody there and then you talk with them all the time and you're eating so that means the hip area may be because of the way of living uh, it's already open so but for the rest we need to practice and the way how to practice yeah, look again and I also show you the way how to breathe because this can help you the timing the synchronicity and the repetition the continuous structure is important so right now don't join just watch a moment So once you are in the position, then for example, it's inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, something um, to keep that in mind. Now continue and we're repeating this exercise together again. Jump. Loosen up the hip again. Other direction. This area, okay. Then Squat down, squat down, nine times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, shift the weight on the right leg, left leg ah, try to bring it out keep the balance keep the balance ah. and the left leg is straight the left leg is straight this knee don't collapse it to the inside bring it out here yeah if you are martial art practitioner also the stance is not boom, collapsed down all the way so that there is no uh, general tension there anymore. Yeah? You always want to maintain full body connectivity. That means if you want to practice for martial purposes, move the weight more to the front and keep power. There, don't sink down, keep power. Keep power. Keep the 
power inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then left foot down and shift the weight and the transition through Mabo and then sink down right leg is out leg keep it straight keep it straight knee push out come to the front a bit don't collapse the leg and go nine times one two three four set for yourself learning a very small routine that you uh, create for yourself and this routine is we start with the marble we move to the gongbu and we go back to pubu so it's just three different positions that we connect with each other and then afterwards bring a rhythm inside there so you have something to practice certainly for the next three to six months. So uh, marble left uh, gongbu then one two pubu then you return turn back mob gongbu pubu mob gongbu So, center, out, back, the three positions, Mabu, Gongu, times to cool ourselves down, release some tension. Eighteen times, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so today's training session not so hard like maybe the previous two because it was just the introduction but I think you get the point that 
there is still so much more possible to practice and now maybe you come up with a very intelligent question which is why should I practice this pubu anyway so what's the benefit of practicing it um, I don't know I don't know but many things that I am practicing in this lifetime are following a very nice principle that somehow since childhood I really really like and that is it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in war so that means it's better to have and possess all different types of skills than needing them and not having them and so what is the skill what is the ability that the practice of such stances are giving you its flexibility on the one side and at the same time also just that mindset that you can put yourself in different situations put yourself in different positions all positions are hard but giving up is just not an option for you and that's why it's always nice take a new challenging position and then yeah improve yourself and make the best out of it so again a very beautiful day not just today the whole week so very lucky for all of us and tomorrow we're gonna have the final session and just as a small announcement we make 60 minutes training together and afterwards if you still have some time I will take myself some time and we can have some short question and answer session afterwards so in that sense do something really great today prepare the weekend is coming and see you tomorrow morning again